Today did not start very well. Michelle forgot to put the SD card in you, for you guys, didn't I? Okay, we're off to the Forbidden City mm -hmm. and Tiananmen Square mm -hmm. and somewhere else. Temple of an Heaven or something. Temple of Heaven, yeah. Yeah. So, what day is it, Tuesday? Yes. This is our last full day in Beijing before we move on. Let's get the day started. Good morning guys, we've been looking at these and wondering what they are. They're for sale, just look like worms. Very expensive worms are the air worms. Must be some type of tea, I should imagine. But they don't look like plants. And they're 49, 50 yen, or 350 yen. Oh, great. 350 yen, that's 35 quid. 36 quid. Whatever they are. I don't think we'll be trying them. <laughs> Square, but I can understand why we can't go. If I didn't know where it was going, I forgot where we are. Where are we? Temple of Heaven. <laughs> Hi guys, we're at the Temple of Heaven, and I keep forget. Yeah. It keeps it? his memory in other. It keeps his memory in my head. Seriously, it's like long-term storage. I do the same with him. Don't worry. Well, I don't have to bring you, Brian, if I bring you. <laughs> I don't have to bring my legs if I bring him because he pulls me along everywhere. <laughs> okay, guys, our first stop off is yeah. at the Temple of Heaven, where our guy's just gonna. Our guy's just over there getting the tickets. Yeah. Wait, well, I mean, he's going in there shortly. See you there, guys, back at home. The time and age over is 50 for women and 60 for men. So, government, pay heed. Playing music, it was very nice actually to see. The Temple of Heaven is so big, like totally 2.7 million square meters. So, if you go from one side to the other side, can take you, no stop, can take you 20 minutes. Okay guys, we're at the Temple of Heaven. What it's used for, it's not a religious uh, purposes. It was used so that the, the Emperor would come here two, three times a year. And what he would do, he would pray to heaven for the harvest. And also, the bit of information I just picked up there from the uh, tour guide is uh, excuse me. Yeah, the, what Beijing means? Beijing means North Capital. Beijing, North and Jing being Capital. Michelle calls my smile a grimace. Yes, it's my turn today. Harvest and circle of mind altar. Uh, it's less famous compared with the Forbidden City, yes. 
uh, you find more local people, especially in the early morning. Yes. You see those all local people. They yes. come here doing yeah. exercise. Yes. They normally come here early, like 7.30 uh, in winter, but summertime can be much earlier, like 6, wow. 6.30, because the park is open really early. And then they back home a lot, about 11, back home for lunch. Yes. Uh, yeah, but uh, the Forbidden City later we visit, you will feel totally different. I yes. Think. The Forbidden City is more for tourists. Yes. So over 90% people visit there are tourists. Tourist. Yes. Yeah. Tourist. Yeah. 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 So uh, uh, when it's less crowded, maybe you will feel uh, less uh, pay attention. So actually, Temple of Heaven nearby, especially near the temple, there are a lot of, uh, some, sometimes they have pickpock. You yeah. have right. to be careful. Yeah, be careful, yeah. be careful yes. your yeah. belongings. Yeah. Yes. And uh, this is the entrance for the temple. Oh, so just now I told you this temple of heaven used it for worshiping. So emperor came here each time, stay here for three days. The processing for ceremony, three days. First the two days, he have to do fasting sure. because first day he will leave the forbidden city and to get here after lunch and they check everything when he arrived here he will check all the tooth for brain and then he will back to the fasting palace we used to have the fasting palace for, for his residential area in the temple of heaven wow. and then the second day he will do fasting for the whole day and the fasting including no alcohol, no meat, no work, uh, no ladies and uh, then that just the plain food and just uh, cultivate his mood so it was not allowed any lady to go in come inside yeah. the temple of heaven in right. the past right. only men only men okay. uh, and uh, then the third day he would get up very early and start for the ceremony because prepare for the ceremony change his clothes and shower everything and then the ceremony start from 6 a.m last for three hours after that he will back to the forbidden city uh -huh. that is for ceremony so but most of the time the temple of heaven is um, was empty because okay. only for the royal family uh -huh. emperor didn't come here often but uh rest of time is still just empty okay. uh -huh. so not open to the public nobody else could go no 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 okay. uh -huh. so now it's di different yes. totally different yeah. yes yeah. so we can go upstairs have a, have a look. the emperor came to here for pretty good harvest for worship is right here so in China all day we have different uh, you know meaning for colors like the color of golden yellow means emperor's family so later on when we go to visit the forbidden city you will find the color of the roof all golden color because of the symbol of the royal family and then the color of blue like this symbol of the color of blue means heaven and also the color of uh, green means citizen that's why the temple is surrounded by green roof so that means citizen and also in the past we believe the shape of heaven was circle shape of earth was square so that's why the temple has a circle shape and then the wall surrounded a square shape uh -huh. So since we come here early, so not that many people, yeah. not yeah. busy. It's lovely. Yeah. <laughs> so the Temple of Heaven, actually, that temple is located on three layers marble terrace. So uh, circle shape. In the past, the temple inside is for tablet for gold for the emperor. So later on, you can go have a look, but they're not allowed to go visit inside. Yeah. But if they open the door, you can have a look from outside. Yes. And you will find the gold, the tablet of the god in the middle. And then on a side, that is the tablet for the emperor, for Qing Dynasty. So during the ceremony, 
emperor. He was the only person who can stand on the altar. So he will stand on the second layer altar because the first layer is the temple. So for tablet. So the second layer for emperor. But other officials depends on the ranking. They will kneel on the floor, not on the altar, but on the ground here. So depends on the ranking. Higher ranking, inner wall. I mean this wall. Lower ranking, even outer wall. Yes, yes. So depends on their class. And also in the past, China, our lucky number. Do you know which which one is our luck? Was our lucky number? Seven? No. Those seven five were lucky, but not the oh, best no, color. Nine, nine, uh, not, not, yes, nine, nine not was the best. Yes. It's our lucky Multiple, number. Yes. Yes. yes, because we prefer, yeah, in nine, general, nine, we prefer to odd number than even number. Yeah. Yes. So for the odd number, one, three, five, seven, nine. So they all good number, but nine is the best. Because nine was the single for the biggest number mm -hmm. was the biggest for single number so yes. represent emperor only yeah. so our lucky number was uh, nine, nine in the past so everywhere in the forbidden city related to nine same thing here but here nine symbol of the god because the emperor he believed he was the son of god uh -huh. so later on when you go upstairs you can count each of the stairs are nice they each of the uh, parts are nine, nine stairs. stairs. So nine and in the middle also nine and on the top also nine. Mm -hmm. So nine by three is twenty seven. seven. Mm -hmm. So two plus seven is nine again. Yeah. So yeah. everything with nine actually. Yeah. Yeah. But now it's totally different. Yeah. The lucky number now in China, do you know which one? Number eight. Oh, even number. Yeah, oh. Yes. <laughs> because of pronunciation. Eight similar as fortunate. Everybody uh, like fortunate. money. Yes, <laughs> so they like eight now. So that's totally different from uh, in the past. Yes. So later on, you can go upstairs and yeah. visit the, the tablet. Have a look at the temple. But the best picture is in the middle down there yes. because you can take the whole view. Yes. And that is the main side on oh the yes, top. I can see in the top, yeah. on the top, that is the name of the temple in Chinese. English means whole of. Uh, prayer for good harvest. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So I will be there. Take your photo photos if you want, okay. and you can go upstairs from here and then have a look, and then go down, and I will wait you there. Okay. I take your photos. Are you allowed to take photos in the door? Yeah, Inside. you can. You can uh, just uh, stand in front of the door. They open the door. I, you can, can take, take pictures photos. through yeah. the door. No okay. problem. Okay. 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 okay, I see. Again, I don't know if this coming out on the camera, but the scale of this place is massive and uh, beautiful as well it's not the square building there that must have something to do with the common fall you've got to remember a lot of these places were just tombs well this is actually a prayer hall isn't it yeah and I will go and we shall walk up 27 steps. I assume these are big incense burners. Again. Oh. That's what I assumed. Okay guys, there's the inside of the prayer hall. Okay guys, I would have got a better view of that, but they outweighted me. They didn't want to move out to the way, but never mind. 
At least we can have a look at the view over here. the processing for ceremony and also the history of the temple and this used to for uh, their worshipping so during the worshipping this symbol of the soldiers were dancing and then in the middle it was the sacrifice to heaven for the offering offering sacrifices for the for the heaven and the burning mainly were ox head and the pig head burning them and the symbol of delivered to the to the heaven mm -hmm. for self, uh, dancing for salvation so this was the picture for different temples in different dynasties so temple of heaven was not the only place for worship in the history so we had the worshiping ceremony uh, for the heaven by different dynasties depends on where was their capital so the Temple of Heaven was the capital for the last two dynasties. So they used to worship right here. But they were the capital like uh, the first dynasty, Zhou, Han, Han dynasty. The capital were different places. So they worship a different place. But the Temple of Heaven is the only one has preserved because the close the time close to now. Uh -huh. They all disappeared. Uh -huh. And then this picture is the symbol of our God, Emperor, he believed he was the son of God. So this we call Jade Emperor, Jade Emperor. And then this picture is the Emperor who moved the capital to Beijing. So he is very famous in our history in Beijing. Portrait of Yong Le Emperor. Yesterday, I think when you went to the tomb, you saw the statues. You went, yes. Oh, sorry. The, you went to the tomb, you saw the statues of the Yong Le Emperor. Same person. So he was the person who moved the capital to Beijing. Yeah, you will go there yesterday, uh, tomorrow, right? Yeah, so you will see the statue of his. Uh, of Yong Le, and he was the person. Did, was he the one that built this whole complex? Yes. During his reign. Yes. yes. During his period, yeah. he built the Forbidden City, the Temple of Heaven, oh, also the Ming Tomb. He did a lot then, right? yes, yes. Yes. Very uh, successful emperor. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. So this used to be the model for different temples oh, yes. by different dynasties. Yes, yes. That temple uh, is our traditional architecture. No nail. It's only uh, locked by wood. 
uh, all, all like all locked by the pillars, yes. locked together. That's so that's why it's so strong. Yeah. Even we had earthquake, but nothing happened. Yeah. So the architecture is still strong there. And the whole construction, the temple, is supported by 28 pillars. So we can see the pillars, the picture from here. So by three layers, three layers, from inner side to outer side, the first layer had four pillars, has four pillars. We can see the four color, one, two, four golden color. That's symbol of four seasons per year. And then the second layer, there are 12, symbol of 12 months. The red color. Red one. Yes, yeah. the red one. And then the third layer is outdoor. We do can see it later when we come go out. We will see it outdoor. Another twelve symbol of twelve hours per day because we used to use uh, lunar month. Yes. So uh, moon uh, the the sun uh, for the the uh, sun uh, hour yeah. for twelve hours per day. Solar time. Yes. So 12 hours per day. Solar so 12 time. pillars, symbol of a day. Yeah. Uh -huh. I didn't see the ceiling. Okay. It's much grander than the no. So this is the picture now. We don't have any green ceremony right now, but it's just the, the government arrange some performance show to the public. Yes. So this is a picture for Chinese New Year. So the actor just dress up yes. and show to the public. Yeah. Yeah. I bet that's